Hello, hello, good evening, class. Buenas noches, chicos, bienvenido. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hi, Carmen. Hello, Aníbal. Hello, Oscar. Hi, teacher. Hello. Oh, hello. Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Francisco. Edgar. And let's see, Calvin. Hi, Johnny. Okay, welcome, guys. So we're about to start. Ya vamos a empezar, chicos. Bienvenidos nuevamente. Vamos a ver ahí si nos está incorporando todavía algunos. Ingrid, welcome. No, okay. Hmm. Okay, so just start, we're gonna have, um, um, well, a review about the previous topic. And okay, just give me a second. The flu is permanent, it's still permanent. Okay, so let me share. Okay, so in our previous session, we were studying a little bit about prepositions of time, right? So, we were studying a little bit about the prepositions, the practices, most of all, in this class. And uh, look at this. Uh, we were finishing with this one. We were just finishing with this one when we had a part of the time. So, we continue here. Then we do a review of everything we have learned using uh, prepositions of time. Hemos estado estudiando tres preposiciones. ¿Cuáles eran esas preposiciones? Do you remember? In, at, y on. Ajá. In, at, and yeah. on. Perfect. So look at this. And we have times of day. So you can use at for times of a day. Lo utilizamos con tiempos del día, horas específicas. For example, at four o'clock, at half past ten, at noon, at midnight. Uh, meal times. So what's that? Uh, las horas de las comidas. For example, lunch time or dinner time. La hora del almuerzo, la hora de la cena. Holidays, for example, at Christmas, en Navidad, at Eastern, el Pascua, at the weekend. Y también podría, mencionamos que podría ser utilizada con at, eh, con eh, weekend, ¿verdad? con la palabra at o con eh, on, podría ser también intercambiada. We also have expressions such as at the present, at the moment, and at night. And we have some questions here. At what time do you usually get up in the morning? So we're discussing this, right? We have been discussing that question a lot. So I'm gonna skip that. At what time do you usually go to work or school? Daniel, tell us, what time do you usually, at what time do you usually go to work? In a normal uh, week, let's say. At uh -huh. six o'clock a.m. Six o'clock. Okay. Carmen, how about you, Carmen? Oh, I think she's driving. At what time do you usually go to work? So that's the question. Johnny? At uh, 7 30. Seventh. Mm, okay. Well, that's fair. Okay. Well, that's great. You know, because when I uh used to travel to San Salvador, I used to uh, let's say, uh, leave for work at about five a.m. or well, in some other cases, uh, a quarter before five. 
Okay, uh, how about you? Let's see. Okay, Dora. Hi, Dora. Nice to have you here. Ya está Dora aquí con nosotros nuevamente. Hi, Dora. Hi. Hello, Dora. Le hemos extrañado. Okay, Dora, hey, what time do you usually go to work? The second question. Ahorita voy entrando. Okay, no problem. Uh, the question that we're discussing is the second. Estamos discutiendo la segunda pregunta. At what time do you usually go to work? What time? Time. At 7, half time, a.m. Okay, half past 7. Half past 7, I guess. Half past 7. Uh -huh. Half past 7. Okay, interesting. Ya volví, uh, teacher. <laughs> excellent, Carmen. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> okay, next question. Do you always eat lunch and what do you eat? Hey, Carmen? Hello. What do you eat? Hi, Mario. Welcome. Okay. So the second question that we're discussing is uh, question three. Do you always eat lunch at noon? What do you usually eat? Yeah, I guess that most of us, right? But what do you usually eat at <laughs> noon? I don't know, probably, uh, tell me. Ideas? Uh, yeah. Carmen, tell hola, us. Hola. What do you usually eat for lunch or at noon? Um, um, uh, okay, I know. Uh, chicken and rice. I don't know, bosas, a sandwich. A sandwich. A sandwich sometimes. Okay, uh, how about you? Let's see, Mario, tell us. Tell us a little bit about your diet. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. okay. So what do you usually eat? Uh, no, you answer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you usually eat at noon? What do you chicken. Usually... Chicken. Okay, chicken and rice and a uh, mic and or a chat or a Coca Cola, probably. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, let's see. Um. Okay, interesting question. Look at this. Do you ever take a nap? Alguna vez tomas una siesta en la tarde? So, do you ever? So, do you ever means alguna vez? So, do you ever take a nap in the afternoon? Uh, tell me, Dora. In the... Or in, in the, the morning? Weekend. <laughs> ah, okay. Ah, the weekend. Only in the, week, in the weekend. Ah, okay. So, that's on, on weekends, right? Mm -hmm. On weekends. Okay. Uh, what time do you usually take your nap? In the morning or in the afternoon? In the afternoon. In the afternoon. Okay. Nice. Uh, Daniel, how about you, Daniel? So I think that you never sleep, but tell us. <laughs> I usually nap. Take a nap. Uh -huh. take, a, uh, take a nap on weekend too. On weekends. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, because you cannot sleep at work, right? Porque no podemos dormir en el trabajo, right? So, but I don't know if you do it. No sé si ya ya les han dormido. So, probably you you are the ones who have the experience. Okay, puede pasar en el bus. Okay, I take a nap in the bus. Okay, okay, let's see. Um. So we have this a grammar chart. Uh, this is basically um, a reference chart where you have uh, some of the usages, right? For a using on, in, and at. Look at this. We have a general idea about uh, when and how using each of these prepositions. Tenemos ahí una idea general con algunos usos de cuándo utilizarlos, cuándo utilizar estas preposiciones. For example, at with the holidays, right? Christmas, Easter, with the word night, uh, with the word time, and with the word the weekend, right? In with months, 
seasons, uh, parts of a day, right? Parte del día también. For example, the morning, the afternoon, the evening, the week, and years. Years. Uh -huh. And on with days and dates. Con los días y fechas. Okay, so I don't know if you have any questions so far. So I'm going to share a PPT so we're, we review all of this information. Voy a compartir por ahí um, un elemento sal para que ustedes vayan viendo. Vamos a hacer un pequeño review de lo que estuvimos viendo el día de ayer. And at the end, we're going to have some exercises. Okay, so look at this. Uh, prepositions of time. Rules for using in, on, and at. Okay, me avisan ahí si ya se ve en su pantalla. Okay, can you see that? Uh, yes. yes. Okay. Correct. Perfect. Uh, Johnny, help us with the first one, using at. Activate your microphone, Johnny. Eh, solo un, una hora. Ah, oh, no, okay. just read the information the, and the examples. Uh huh. This this information, Jenny. We use at. Ah, so debo leerla nada más. Uh huh. Just read it. Ah, okay. Just read ah, okay. it. Okay. Um, we use at uh, with the time of the clock. Uh, example. Uh, he left at two today. Okay. I get up every morning at five. 30. Uh, 30. 30. I, I'll see you at lunch time. Okay, excellent. He left at 2 today. Se marchó, right? Se fue. He left at 2 today. I get up every morning at uh, 5.30. I'll see you. Te veré, right? O lo veré. I'll see you at lunch time. Around noon, right? So that's uh, for lunch. So that's one of the usages for exact times. And um, Carmen, please continue using at. We also use at in this expression, memory thing. Okay, at memory. Night, okay. Memory. At night, at the moment, at the sometime, and the, no sé cómo se pronuncia Beginning. esa palabra. Beginning. ¿Cómo? Beginning. 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 Okay. At the end, end of. of. Uh -huh. At the end of. At the end of. At the end of. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have, as I mentioned, we have some expressions uh, which, uh, in which you have to, well, we all have to use uh, at, right? At night, at the moment, at the same time, at the beginning, at the end of la noche, um, at the moment I'm working. At the moment I'm working, right? At the moment I'm trabajando. At the moment I'm studying. At the moment I'm studying English. Es una actividad temporal, por ejemplo. El ejemplo que les di. At the moment I'm studying English, right? At the same time, al mismo, tie al mismo tiempo, at the same time. A la vez, at the same time, I'm, let's say, working. At the moment, I'm studying English. And at the same time, I'm studying, oh, I'm working. Vamos a combinar ahí las dos ideas. At the beginning, okay, so you can say at the beginning, um, I was uh, studying English. But at the end of the month, uh, at the end of the year i i continue studying any other thing right it's al principio al final de por ejemplo a the Se end of the street al final de la de la calle podríamos decir uh -huh. at the end of the let's say boulevard street at the beginning of the street so you will find that the bakery at the beginning at the end of okay Para dar una alguna ubicación también, puede ser. Using on. Ok, using on. Uh, Daniel. We use on for days of the week, on Thursday, on Saturday, etc. 
Mm -hmm. We all say on weekend, on Friday, on Friday morning, on Tuesday evening. Okay. A specific date. Mm -hmm. Example. On March 11th, on my first 2010. Mm -hmm. 2010, okay. 2010. Uh -huh. Or 2010. Okay, so look at this. Days of the week, uh, Thursday. I have a meeting on Thursday. I have a, let's say, I have to work on Saturday. I, I'm going to visit the client on Wednesday. We also say on weekends. On weekends, we have a party. Right. On Friday uh, morning, I have to send uh, the report to the customers or to my boss or well, to the boss. Right. On Tuesday evening, I need to talk with uh, with an important uh, company. Right. So this is uh, related to parts of a specific day. Entonces aquí pueden ser partes de un día en específico también. On Friday morning, el viernes por la mañana. El, tarde del martes, right? Y también con fechas específicas. On March the 12th, on May the 1st, 2010. Por ejemplo, el 12 de marzo y el primero de mayo. Eso sería, por ejemplo, la, las fechas. Ok. And I told you that you have to use. ¿Qué números tenemos que utilizar? Recuerda qué números utilizamos ahí con las fechas. So I send you a picture. Do you remember? Number ordinal. Ordinal. Ordinales. Uh -huh. Ordinal numbers. For example, numbers. first, second, third. So we'll see some vocabulary. Vamos a ver vocabulario por ahí más adelantito. And let's see. We use in for uh, Dora help us. Ahorita. Using in. in. We use in for longer periods of time or in. more general times. In April. In, April, in the 19th, 19th century. century in, in 1990. 1990. In the mm -hmm. 19, 19 ah, in the 70s, 70s, in the 70s, uh -huh. in the winter, in the winter, in the summer, in the summer, okay, ¿cuáles eran otros usos? Para también lo teníamos para periodos largos de tiempo, o eh, tiempos en general, por ejemplo, en abril, quiere decir con los meses, ¿verdad? in the 19th century, el siglo XIX, in the 1990, in 1990, in the 70s, well, okay, decades, uh, in the winter, con las décadas, right? Usualmente agregamos esta S con las décadas para indicar eso. In the summer, también con estaciones del, del año. Right? In the summer, in the winter, in autumn, in spring. And we also say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. ¿Cuál era la diferencia entre este con on, cuando utilizábamos on, también podríamos utilizar on con algunas partes del día. On. Monday morning. Ok. And I say in the morning. Ok. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre esas dos? So this is specific. Ajá. Uh -huh. And this one is. Specific a day. Uh -huh. And this is a uh, general, a general part of the day, un poquito más general, eh, nada más una parte del día, pero acá estamos hablando un poquito más específico, estamos especificando qué parte de, de este lunes, ¿verdad? la mañana, la tarde, la noche. Y acá con in solamente sería parte del día, pero no especificamos, ¿verdad? Así que, ¿qué día? So, so you say in the morning, in the afternoon, in, in the evening, in the night, right? And we use in in a future a time plus a future time in a few weeks, in six months, in 10 minutes. Entonces, también utilizamos in para indicar um, 
alguna actividad que vas a hacer a futuro. In a few weeks. En pocas semanas. En seis meses. En diez minutos. Okay, in a few weeks, you're going to be in module uh, six, for example, in module two. Okay, in six months, uh, you're going to finish basic uh, level, the basic level, right? And in 10 minutes, you're going to be talking, right? In 10 minutes. Okay, so now let's see. We also have um, no preposition. So when we don't need a preposition. Look at this. Um, Carmen, help us. No preposition. Cuando no necesitamos una preposición. So read the information. Look at this. Uh, no preposition is used when we use time expressions. Cuando utilizamos expresiones de tiempo. Por ejemplo, this week. Last uh, week, next week. Aquí puede ir cambiando, ¿verdad? Next uh, month, last uh, year, el año pasado. Ok. For example, uh, yesterday, tomorrow. Entonces, con ellas, con expresiones de tiempo, no vamos a utilizar preposiciones, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, um, no preposition is used when we use time expression with this or last or next. Examples. I'll see you next Friday. Ok, te veré el próximo viernes. Entonces, acá no podemos decir I'll see you next on Friday. No, estamos indicando... Tiempo, acá estamos utilizando una expresión de tiempo. Entonces, en ese caso, no utilizamos, um, no vamos a utilizar una preposición acá, sino que acá estamos ocupando una expresión de tiempo. O sea, ahí no es necesario ubicar una preposición on time, porque ya tenemos esta expresión de tiempo. Eh, te veré el próximo fin de semana, el próximo viernes. I had an important meeting last week. Tenía una reunión importante. El fin de semana, uh, la semana pasada, right? Last week. Entonces no puede ser at last week. No, it's not possible. Entonces ahí no es posible. Y no es requerido. Cuando va acompañado de una expresión de tiempo. Ok. So now we have an, an exercise. Practice. In, on, or at. Number one. So what do you think? Vamos a ver. Veamos ahí la número uno. ¿Cómo nos quedaría? We got married, preposition, días. In June. In June. Okay, in June. Number two, we got married June the 12th, 2008. On. On, okay. Number three. I have a meeting. At. at. Okay. At three today. Three. Okay. We're going to have lunch next Thursday. On oh. the Ah, no needed, right? So, no preposition. Ya tenemos ahí una expresión de tiempo. No necesitamos. Aunque aquí va jueves, ¿verdad? Okay. Uh, number five. In the morning. Okay, I work in the morning. In the morning. Not. Any idea, Mario? Let's see, John. Ask her. Uh -huh. Okay, at night. I will travel to visit my family. Viajaré a visitar a mi familia. A few weeks. Ahí no necesita tampoco mm. la preposición. But we don't have a time expression, pero tenemos ahí uh -huh. um, una expresión de, de tiempo. Entonces sí la necesitamos. Um, entonces, por ejemplo, in an hour, vamos a utilizar in con las palabras hora, minutos. Okay. In an hour, 
in some minutes, in a few weeks, okay, en pocas semanas. In a few weeks, I will travel to visit my family. Entonces, ahí vamos jugando nosotros con algunas palabras con las cuales sí podemos hacerlo, como por ejemplo, la palabra hora, con la palabra tiempo, in, I mean, in some minutes, minutos, horas. Uh, let's see. Yeah, y aquí tenemos el caso in a few weeks, en pocas semanas. Okay, number seven. I'm always tired at the end of the day. Siempre estoy cansado at the end of the day. <laughs> I mentioned that. Edgar, what do you think? Where is Edgar? I think. Aha, uh -huh, excellent. At, at the end of the day. Al final de, right? At the beginning. At the top. Okay. Okay, estamos indicando tiempo. Al final del día. Al final del día. Estamos indicando tiempo. Uh, number eight. Celia doesn't work. In Saturday. In Saturday, you sure? On Saturday. On Saturday, Saturday, right? Number nine, we enjoy, we enjoy taking a walk. On Sunday. On Sunday afternoons. Ten, the summer semester ends. When does it end? July the 23rd, July the 23rd, guys. What do you think? Oh. On. Oh. On, oh, right? Specific date, okay. They bought their house. Compraron su casa, yeah. no? In. In the 2000, 2000. Okay, excellent. So we need to continue practicing this a little bit more. So, but first I'm going to show you some more things. Um, well, vocabulary, right? Vamos a ver un poquito vocabulario. Y les comentaba que para hablar de tiempo y fechas, necesitamos aprendernos los números ordinales. Los meses también manejar eso. Bueno, y con el tiempo, pues las horas. ¿verdad? Okay, so now we're going to check this vocabulary and at the end you're going to say your classmates birthdays well at least yours okay por lo menos su fecha de cumpleaños okay el ayer ya les mencionaba como como se menciona como se decía pero lo vamos a hacer nuevamente okay ordinal numbers like this first first second second, second. third third, third. Third, third, again, first, second, third, third, second, fourth, third fourth, 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 fifth, fifth, fifth sixth, 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 sixth. sixth. Uh -huh. aha, <laughs> you sh should not say six, right? No es six, es sixth, 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 sixth. sixth. seventh, seventh, Eighth, 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 ninth, ninth. ninth. Y miren, nótese que aquí cambió ya la escritura. Ninth, ninth, ninth. tenth, tenth. tenth. Ok, el décimo día. Tenth, eleventh, eleventh. Twelfth, twelfth. Thirteenth, thirteenth, thirteenth. 13th, 14th, 14th, okay, 15th, 15th, 16th, 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 17th, 17th, 18th, 18th, 19th, 19th, 20th, 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 
the twentieth of May. It's uh my favorite day. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Let's see. Um, and when we're finished with the twentieth, we continue with twenty first. Entonces ya cuando seguimos del veintiuno en adelante, ya lo único que vamos modificando es eh, veinti. Deberíamos de estar los números del veintiuno al veintinueve. Lo único que se va modificando es el segundo número. 21st, que se va ubicando eh, un número ordinal. Entonces, tenemos ahí 21st, 22nd, 23rd, la pronunciación siempre, ¿verdad? 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th. Y luego, sí, ¿verdad? Con el 30, 30. 30th, 30th. Y luego seguimos, volvemos a repetir el patrón de arriba, ¿verdad? Desde el número 21 al 29. 31st, 32nd, 34th, 35th, 36th, 37th, 38th, and 39th. Y así podríamos seguir con el 40, 40th, 40th, and 50th. Entonces lo que... Uh, necesitamos manejar es uh, básicamente conocer por lo menos de los del 1 al 18 y del 1 al 9 pues son los más eh, los más prácticos los que vamos a ir utilizando con, con las fechas igual verdad si está si está digamos entre el número vamos entre el número ok del 11 al 19, en ese caso, si la fecha es esa, tendríamos que ubicar eso, por eso tenemos que memorizarlo. Ok, permítame un segundito. Ok, ya continuamos, chicos, permítanme. Ok, so let's continue. Look at this. And, well, this is basically what we have to do with the... Um, With the dates. Entonces, lo que tenemos que utilizar con la fecha siempre van a ser números uh, ordinales. Nunca utilizamos los números cardinales. Hay mucho ojo con eso. Incluso en la pronunciación se tiene que escuchar ese, ese, ese T, ese ND o ese TH. Ok, so now we have the months. And with the months we have January, January. February, January, March, March, April, April, May, May, June, June, July, July, August, August, September, September, October, 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 November, November, and December. December. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Okay. January. January. February. February. March. March. April. April. May. May. June. June. July. July. August. August. September. September. October. October. November, November, and December. 
December. Okay, December, December. 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 Okay, and um, now we have some, uh, well, some clock times. Um, look at this. So all of this information is required when you talk about your birthdays, right? Entonces, cuando habl a veces hablamos de fechas o, bueno, fechas de nacimiento, y a veces en la partida te sale la hora de nacimiento. Entonces ahí pues, pueden ubicarlo también. <ríe> ok, ah, yo nací a tal hora, es súper especial. Eso sí, eso es bueno. Ok, uh, time, one o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock, seven o'clock. Eight o'clock, nine o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, ten o'clock, ten o'clock, and eleven o'clock, eleven o'clock, and the last one is okay. We have noon and midnight. Noon and midnight. Midnight. Noon Ajá. Mediodía y la medianoche. Okay. Noon, noon mediodía and midnight. Noche. Mm, mm. Okay. Además de eso, podemos incorporar mm -hmm. ahí para el mediodía, midday, midday, midday. Ok. Mm. Midday. Eh, podemos decir a 12 o'clock. Sí, también se puede decir a 12 o'clock. Ok. But let's see. We have, ok, uh, we also have the days of the week, Sunday. Sunday, Monday, 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 Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Friday, Friday and Saturday. And Saturday. Saturday. Okay. And besides that, we have some other different times. También tenemos otro ejemplo donde ya no son horas exactas, sino que ya van variando. Por ejemplo, five after one, que es lo que hemos estado viendo, ¿verdad? De la, de las, de, del tiempo, como decir la hora. Five after one, a quarter after one, one thirty, half past one. Tenemos las dos formas de decirlo. One thirty, una treinta, así el... Literal, empezamos con la hora y después los minutos. Uh -huh. O empezamos con los minutos y después ubicamos la palabra paz y luego la hora que estamos mencionando. En a quarter to two. Un cuarto para las dos. En five to two. Okay, and we have the seasons, el vocabulario de las estaciones, spring, summer, autumn, and fall, and winter. So here in El Salvador, we just have two, right? En El Salvador solamente tenemos dos. Aunque ahora solo, solo tenemos summer, siento yo, porque hay mucho calor. <laughs> yeah, creo que eso pareció la otra. Okay. Entonces, in the USA, there are four, right? Uh, autumn and fall. I mean, uh, spring, summer, uh, autumn, or fall, and winter. Entonces, ellos manejan cuatro, nosotros solo dos. And in the UK, they say autumn instead of fall. They say you. Fall, right? For uh, el otoño. Okay. Y también hemos estado viendo algunas palabras de... Um, las medidas de tiempo, por ejemplo, second, second, minute, 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 hour, hour, day, day, week, weekend, weekend, month, year, year, decade, and century, century. Okay, so now I'm gonna resize this so you can take a picture. 
Ok, ahí le vamos a ver, le voy a tomar una picture ahí, se lo voy a compartir. Ok, so now look at this. We have a short task, which is uh, find the correct uh, word for the correct preposition. So we need to classify which preposition belong with, which word belongs to each of these prepositions. Entonces tenemos que encontrar ahí las palabras y ubicarlas en la categoría correcta. For example, at, so you know that you, we use at with specific times. At 10.30, so you mark this out, right? Entonces ahí ya tenemos la primera. La quitamos. Y ponemos otra. Vamos con otro ejemplo. In, so which is an example using in. Example, in. The morning. The morning. In the morning. Perfect. On, purpose, uh, word. On? On my fight. On Sunday. Saturday. Mm -hmm. So that's what you have to do right now. Eso es lo que van a hacer ahorita, hacer la clasificación de las preposiciones. Digo, de las palabras en la categoría correcta. Add in or on. So I'm going to send you the picture. Let me see. So now it's your turn to work. Okay, so I'm gonna open the breakout rooms and you can start working with a classmate. Okay, so I have sent you the picture. Ya les compartí la imagen. So start working on that. So you're gonna have like five minutes. So that, that's all. Ok, le voy a enviar también esta capturada. Así necesitan ahí también el espacio. O lo quieren así hacer más digital y lo hacen ahí con... En la picture. Ok, me dicen si alguien quedó sin invitación. Vamos, los demás. Eh, Kevin, Francisco, Jonathan, Ingrid, eh, Calvin, Christian. ¿Cuál es William?
Nun sería at. Nun es at. Ajá. at. At noon o at midday. Midday, ajá. My birthdays era específica. Mm. Ahí sí me quedo duda si es inmodón. <ríe> My birthdays. Eh. En mi Ajá, con fechas, fechas especiales también. On. On. Aquí en Aquí en Onda. La otra. Es esa. En May. En May. Five, ¿cómo era? Five. Sí, el quinto. Five. My the... My Summer. summer in summer in summer in, uh -huh. in summer in Sunday. Sunday. Sunday on Sunday on Sunday uh -huh. Sunday on Sunday you are February February uh -huh. February Donde dice también mayo 5 va en, en on, ¿verdad? Mayo 5. Ajá, May 5. Ah, May 5. Ajá, ¿verdad que sí? En, en, bueno, yo creo que va en on. Ajá, en on bueno. lo puse también. Summer is in summer. In summer. Summer in, uh -huh. In the, donde dice 1990, sería en in, ¿verdad? Sí. Igual que el 2013. In 2013. 2013 in. Uh -huh. In night sería at night. In night or midnight? No, night. Solo night. Mm -hmm. At. At night, verdad. Ajá. Uh -huh. In midnight. Yeah. También at. 
también midnight, ¿verdad? Sí. At, at midnight. At midnight. Y bedtime, no. ¿Cuál bedtime? At, ah, sí sería at, at bedtime. At, bedtime. Ajá. Bed time. At night. At night. At night. En las estaciones. Eh, oh, okay. eh, fall o autumn era el. Y el... a yeah, midnight. Uh, midnight. Huh? Midnight. <risa> El de astronomía sería oh. No sería at midnight. 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 Pero bueno. Pero bueno. Pero bueno. Bien, así pongámoslo at. The afternoon. Uh -huh. At the afternoon. Afternoon. Hello, hello. Did you finish? Me falta la mitad, diría. Ah, okay. Te voy a casa. Tuesday, Tuesday, afternoon, Wednesday, in. In. Wednesday. Winter, eh, winter, Ay, Wednesday es. evening. Yo creo que sería a tarde. Eh, Wednesday evening. Wednesday evening. Wednesday evening. Yes or no, teacher. No repetir, please. And Wednesday evening is preposition on. Mm -hmm. On Wednesday evening. Okay. Wednesday. Wednesday. 
Wednesday. Evening. Right. Tuesday afternoon. On Tuesday afternoon. Winter. Winter. Okay, so what do you have, guys, for at? Let's see. At. Tell me. Vamos a ver, ¿qué tienen chicos ahí para at? Vamos a ver, chicos, ya regresamos todo. Bien, perfecto. Vamos a ver, empezamos ahí con at. ¿Cómo les quedó at? At noon y, y at midnight. Okay, at noon, at midnight. Okay, that's it. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más tenían ahí? ¿Solamente esas? Vamos a ver ahí los demás. Bedtime. Any other? That's it. Or that's it. Good Good morning. Morning. Ah, okay. In the morning. In the morning. Summer. In summer. The, okay, in the summer. In the evening. In the evening. Okay. In winter. In winter. Okay. Spring. In, the, in spring. In spring. Okay. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. Okay, perfect. Anything else? On February. Ah, oh, okay. So let's continue with the next one. On February. On February or in February? In February. Uh huh. In February. Okay. Do we have some more for this one? 2013. Ah, okay. Okay, so I think that you don't have anything else. Then I'll go master in. Okay, so I think Ah, okay. In the 1990s. Nice. Nice. 90s? That way? Mm. Let's see. Ah, yeah, that's right. Okay. Dora, do you have more? I must, Dora. Fall mm. in... Mm. 
Only that one. Only that one. Mm. Okay, so let me check. Ah, okay. In fall, in autumn. Fall, fall. Fall y la otra palabra no sé. Autumn. Ah, oh, bien. No was you. In autumn. Okay, and on. So what do you have for on? On Monday morning. On Monday morning. Okay. What else? On Sunday. On Sunday. On Wednesday evening. On Wednesday evenings. On Thursday afternoon. On Tuesday. Tuesday. On a holiday. On? On a holiday. On a holiday, yeah. On the weekend. On birthday. Uh-huh. On? Birthday. My birthday. On my birthday, on birthday, okay. Is that all? Is this all? Five my. Uh -huh. Can you repeat it, Dora? On the uh -huh, 5th of May. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. On the 5th of May. Okay, so I'm going to show you the answer so you can compare that with uh, what you have. Okay, so, but most of them are, well, all of them are correct. So now I'm going to show you the, the answers. Look at this. So here you have... At noon, midday, then 30, at midnight, at the weekend. Well, it can be on or at, right? Entonces, on or at. At night, at bedtime. In, in the morning, in summer, in February, in the afternoon, in winter, in the evening, in fall, in autumn, in spring, in the 90s. Excellent, Dora. On, with um, birthday. Con que son días especiales. Por ejemplo, en, podría ser on Mother's Day. Mother's Day. On Independence Day. Ok. On Independence Day. Las trofías. On, uh, let's say, Father's Day. On any other event, right? The Father's Day. Okay, on May the 5th, um, okay, on Sunday, on a weekday, on Wednesday evening, on a Tuesday afternoon, on the weekend, on a holiday, and on Monday morning. So that's, that's all. Okay, perfect. So now let's continue. We have uh, another task. Okay, times and days. So we're going to discuss the following questions. Okay. So what is your favorite time of the day? Okay. So how will you answer this question? My favorite time of the day is in the morning. With some... No, let's leave the trouble. Um, okay. It's at, <laughs> I begin. <laughs> At the end of uh, of the day, for example. Okay. <laughs> Why explain at the end of the day? Because I live, I live work and I go home and I sleep. Which day of the week do you hate most? Okay. I hate Monday. I, Mondays. Okay. I hate Mondays because on Mondays. I, and you mentioned, you explain what you do, right? 
¿Qué hacen los lunes? I Mondays because on Mondays I uh, I don't know. I have to work. Uh, there is a lot of traffic. Uh, I don't want to wake up. No me quiero le despertar. No quiero levantarme. Okay. Do you wear a wristwatch? Un reloj. Do you use a wristwatch? Why? Why not? Uh, yes, no. Okay, mention why. Which month is the best month of the year? Why? Okay. For example, uh, December. 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 Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so we are... Merry Christmas. <laughs> uh -huh, December is my favorite month. Okay, why? Because you explain... Because in December, what do you do in December? Because in December, I eat uh, panes con pollo. Because in December, mm -hmm. I, I buy presents. Because in December, no, pero que en December, pero nos regalan, regalo. Because in December, I, I am given presents. Okay. I am given presents. Ah, regalos. Okay. Or you buy, or you like to share, you share with your family, or comparte con la familia. Okay. So you explain why, right? Okay. Uh, what time do you usually get up in the mornings? So I think you already know that. Okay. Do you get enough sleep? Duerme lo suficiente? Mm. No. Aha, uh -huh. yeah, that's what you have to answer. Okay, so let me move this a little bit. Oh, troubles here. Okay, so do you get enough sleep? Okay, what time do you usually get up? Do you get enough sleep? No, I don't. Why? Because I get up at uh, 4 o'clock and I go to bed at 11 p.m. So I don't get enough sleep. How many days are there in a year? Hmm, okay. Um, I won't answer that. You already know. Eso ya se la saben. What do you like to do on weekends? On weekends, okay. On weekends. Play soccer. Uh huh. On weekends. Tell me, I like to play soccer. soccer. What else? I like to go to the park. I like to watch TV. I like to rest. I like to sleep. I love eating. I. Ah, so you can mention a lot of things, right? ¿Cuántas harán de todas esas que le gustan hacer? So, mm -hmm. uh -huh. so we need to think about. Okay, mm -hmm. organizar el fin de semana. Um, what time do you usually eat lunch? What time? At 1 p.m. or 3 p.m.? So on weekends. At noon. At noon, ajá, uh -huh. and how, how about weekends? ¿Y los fines de semana? Creémosle ahí un valor ahí. One. One p.m. One p.m. Uh, Saturday and Sunday. Ajá, uh -huh. yeah, it varies, right? Ahí ya cambia un poquito. What time do you usually, um, now, when is your birthday? Are you going to have birthday party? So when is your birthday? <laughs> My birthday is... Is okay on I was born November 24, one dozen night four. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, write it February the 7th, 1994, at okay, at 1 a.m. Okay, 1 a.m. So I'm sharing with you this. My birthday is on February the 7th. Um, okay. Or you can say, you can add this. I was born in 1994 at 1 p.m. So we could have started another way. My birthday is on February the 7th, el 7 de febrero. Y nací en el año 94. So what time at uh, 1 a.m.? Or you can start at one morning in February the 7th. También podríamos iniciarla desde acá. 
Sí, ahí se las corté, pero podemos... I was born in. Ok. Okay. Ahí tendríamos que cambiar nuevamente la profesión. Of February the 7th, 1994, at 1 a.m. Okay. And what time is it now? It's 11 past, 11 past 9. So that's what you have to do. Okay. So now let's try to discuss this. Uh, what is your favorite time of the day? Um, let's see. Johnny, tell us. What is your favorite time of the day? Uh, my favorite time of the day is uh, night. So, uh, I think, yes, night. That's okay. The evenings at night. Eve uh, evening. Oh, okay. Evenings, the, in the evenings. Okay. Um, why? Because, uh, why? Uh -huh, tell me. Um, because I like watch a series and news. Okay, do you have any favorite series? Uh, yes, um, I watch uh, The Office. The Office. Oh, yeah, you mentioned that previously. I was thinking about El Patrón del Man. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Eso es lo que aparece ahí en la cartelera. <laughs> vale, creo que ya no. Okay, let's see. Dora, which day of the week do you hate most? Why? Um, December is my no, uh, day, day, day of the week. Day. The one that you hate. El que odia, el que no le gusta. Oh, you don't like that day because uh, there's traffic, because you have to get up early, because you have a lot of work that day, porque tiene mucho trabajo ese día. So what, which is, which is the day that you hate the most? Mm. Mm. Monday. Monday. Monday? Mm -hmm. Why? Because of, the because of the traffic? Oh. Yes. Uh -huh. Because of the traffic. Traffic. Mm -hmm. Because of the traffic. Okay. Um. Let's see. Edgar, do you wear a wristwatch? Do you wear a wristwatch? Question three. Question three. Un, re, un reloj. So do you wear a wristwatch? Oh, what is Edgar? Hi, Edgar. Hi, Ahí está. Okay. Do you uh, use? Use. Do you wear? You use? Usar. What is? Usar. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where? Yes. Watch. Un Yes. Ah, okay. Why? Do you know how to say the time in English? Yes. yes. Say. Uh huh. To say the time, right? To say the time. To organize. Oh, okay. To organize my life, I don't know, to organize my <laughs> activities. Uh -huh. So why, why is this important using a wristwatch? Because you you right. know, uh -huh, because uh, you have to organize your activities because you need to know when things uh, are going to happen or when, um, well, when you want to specify something right about time. We can say it. Cuando va a pasar algún evento o, o simplemente para organizarnos. Ok. And Daniel, which month is the best month of the year? Why? The best month in the year is March. March. Because it is my birthday. Ok, because it's your birthday. When is your birthday? It's March the 1st. Uh -huh. It's on March. On March the 1st. First, first. Oh, okay. Mm, okay. March the 1st. Interesting. Thank you, Daniel. Um, estamos parando regalos ahí para Daniel. Atrasados todavía. Eh, digo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, what time do you usually get up in the mornings, Carmen? 
¿Cuál teacher? Uh, question five. What time do you usually get up in the mornings? F on five o'clock. Five o'clock. And do you get enough sleep? Duerme lo suficiente? Do you get enough sleep? So, so. so, so. <laughs> Not really, right? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> okay. And yeah, because you know, well, we need to sleep at least eight hours, right? And okay, so let's continue with our next question. How many days are there in a year? Guys, how many? How many? ¿Cuántos días en el año? Ajá, how many días en el año? Ajá, ¿cuántos días hay en un año? 300. 300 and 60. 35. Mm -hmm. Para decirlos, damos eh, los números, tenemos 100 or 100. 100. Okay. 200. Okay. Empezamos con el número primero, la unidad 2, y después agregamos 100. 200, 3. 300. Ahora, Solo se da Ajá, es para decir, pero digamos 100, 200, 300. Uh -huh. Ahora, para cambiarlo, hay 300, por ejemplo, 245. Sería 200. Y vamos ahora con la siguiente unidad: 40, 40, 5. Un guión para separar ahí: 45. Vamos a ver ahí otro, o 467. Vamos a ahí. Empezamos. Four. Four under. Four hundred. Ok. And. Four hundred and. Ok, ¿qué número sí hay? 67. Sixty. Sixty. Ajá, sixty. Sixty seven. Sixty seven. Ok, another one. Let's see, um, okay, 920. Uh, and 20. 900. And 20. Mm. Okay, so that's not too difficult. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, um, what do you like to do? Let's continue. What do you like to do on weekends? Tell me, Johnny, what do you like to do on weekends? I mentioned one activity. Um, I like uh, going to the cinema and shopping. Okay, nice. And shopping. Okay, weekends. Johnny's. Johnny goes shopping on weekends. Okay, and let's see. What time do you usually eat lunch, Dora? On weekends, on weekends, fin de semana. Because I think that most of the days we uh, tend to follow a schedule. Entonces, porque la mayor parte de los días de la semana seguimos un horario. So, how about weekends? La ocho. Ajá. What time do you usually eat lunch? 1 p.m. 1 p.m. On uh, weekends? On weekends? Yeah, okay. Yes, right. Okay, and when is your birthday? Let's see. Um, well, Daniel knows this answer. Daniel, when is your birthday? My my birthday is on March the 1st. The 1st. Are you going to have a birthday party next year? Next G, probably. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so are you going This to year, invite no. us? Okay, entonces sí, prepárense con los regalos y, y, y la invitación también la esperamos. <laughs> okay. Ah, bueno. Ajá. Uh -huh. And um, <laughs> let's see, the last one, what time is it now? What time is it now? 
tell me what's the time? Nine. 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 Okay, so now we're going to uh, work in the breakout room. So I need you to discuss and to find out more information about your classmates. So you're going to work in groups of uh, four, I guess. Okay, so you can share information. Let's see. So join the breakout rooms. I'm going to send you the screenshot with the questions. Okay, so there you have it. Ahí está, chicos. So let's start discussing. I'll be monitoring that in a moment. Ok, me avisan ahí si se me queda alguien sin invitación. Envíasela nuevamente. No, déjame un mensaje ahí. ¿Cómo estamos, doctora? ¿Todo bien? Hola. Bien. Hola, hola. Hola, Johnny. Hola, hola. Hola. Bien, bien. Imagen. Mm, no, creo que no. No, 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 no lo tengo. Sí. La envió al chat. Uh, sí, pero ahorita se lo voy a mirar de nuevo. Vean ahí. Ok, ok. Ya ahorita, ahorita se lo voy a mirar. Por ahí les compartí otra también. Okay, ah, ahí ya, ya la tienen. Sí. Ya la logran sí. visualizar, ¿verdad? Sí, gracias. Okay. Bueno, gracias. bueno. Eh, eh, Daniel, which month is the best month of the year? The best month of the year is December because it's. Ah, tú estás. Tú estás desde la compu, vea. No, estoy desde mi teléfono. Si gustas, comparto la imagen. que no le pude tomar captura. Ok. Listo. Si gustas, inicio. What? Teacher. Hello. Yes, tell me. Este, dijo que íbamos, perdón, yo no, know, o sea, sí estaba poniendo atención, pero estaba ahí en medio de otra actividad. Uh -huh, este, sí. dijo que Vamos a practicar con información propia de uno, ¿verdad? 
Sí, correcto. Ok, pues sí, entendí. Listo, Carmen. Eh, what is your favorite time of the day and why? Ok. Eh, bueno, esa es la que yo dije. There are hundred and sixty five, creo que. Three hundred. No, pero que dice. No, no, what, no, 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 What no, no, no. is your favorite Espérame, no, no, time? No, era at the in of. Al final del día era. End day. End day. Mm -hmm. Ok, en why y por qué? Porque salgo del trabajo. No me sí. Ok. Eh, what else? Otra pregunta entonces. Which eh, day? Oh. O oh, pregúntemelo usted, no sé cómo quiere que sigamos. No, no, vamos. Ok. La otra sí. es. Which sí. day? Of the week do you hate most? Why? Por qué? Okay. ¿Cuál día de la semana Pero... tú odias más? Odia, odia más. El why? Creo que los... Monday, Sunday, mm. Friday. Y los miércoles. <laughs> y yeah, Monday, Tuesday. Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday sería. Wednesday. Wednesday. And why? ¿Y por qué? Quiero ver sería... Porque son aburridos, pero ya lo. Because is eh, bored, bored. No sé cómo se dice aburrido, bored. Yo creo que hubiera sido mejor que los, porque yo no los tengo todos contestados. Si lo, lo hiciéramos en una página y después lo vamos contestando. Porque no lo puse. Ok. No sé cómo hacemos entonces. Quiere contestar. Va, entonces vamos a ver. Ah, pero esta imagen ya tiene texto acá, como hacemos. Uh -huh. Oh, tu, 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 tu. Aquí hay anotaciones, texto. Eh. Va, vamos a asumir que esta parte... Quiero decir, en una sola podemos como poner preguntas. No sé si se puede, pero vamos a intentar. Va, la primera. What is your favorite time of the day? ¿Cuál es su día favorito? Dice que al, de, de, al, fin, al final. End the day. Aquí lo voy a eh, which day of the week do you hate most? Eh, which Which, por which, which es cuál día de la semana odias más. O se dijo que era miércoles. Wednesday, 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 no, Wednesday, 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 no sé cómo se escribe Wednesday. Wednesday, ahorita lo busco. Uy, qué rico. Ay, no me deja. Si estoy anotando, no me deja hacer otra cosa. Y no tengo otra pantalla. Pero aquí lo busco. Quitar esto. De ahí va. Aquí está. No me dejó. Opa. Aquí 
voy a ver compartir. Sixty Eva. Fifty five days in the year. Three hundred sixty five days. Mm -hmm. Okay. La siete es what do you like what do you like to do on weekend? ¿Qué te gusta si qué te gusta hacer los fines de semana? I like going to uh, shopping, uh, watch movies in the rest. I, I like the, the shopping. I like the relax. Okay. In my case, so yeah, I like to go to the park. Vamos a ver la ocho. What time do you usually eat lunch? Eat lunch. Uh, I like time? to have lunch at 1.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. mm, at 12 o'clock. ¿Qué hora? I... One, one p.m. Eh, la, la nueve sería when your when your birthday, ajá, cuando cumples año. My birthday is uh, July fifth. My birthday is fifteen. September 15. Okay. I'm going to have to have a birthday party. No. Que si no. voy a hacer de fiesta de cumpleaños de acá. No. <laughs> ya decía que vamos a ir a la fiesta. <laughs> pues, la sí. última. What time is now? It's now. Ah. Y ahora es ahora. Um, Sería at al pas. Ah, no, Sería. Sí, Wenny. ¿Cómo era lo que Sería uh, 25 to 10. 25 to 10. Oh. What time is now? Okay, welcome back, guys. So we will continue with some more things. Seguimos por acá, chicos. And we're going to work on, uh, well, on our manuals. We will continue with uh, some activities that we have for Unit 3. And look at this. Basically, what I want to check is the exercises with the contents covered during this week. Uh, for example, um, in here we have a task which says create questions based on the answers. Muy parecido a lo que hacíamos un día de esto, de esto relacionado a que teníamos las respuestas, pero acá íbamos a ir creando nuestras preguntas. Okay, so now look at this question number one. So what do you think? Question one. Vamos a ir las respuestas. Uh, 
I have to write a report about the production every Friday. So which could be the question? Any idea? I have to write a report about the production every Friday. ¿Cuáles eran las double H que estudiamos? So, do you remember? So, when, when where, what? Uh huh. How? Where, what, how, okay. How? Who? What time? Uh, well, these are some of them. Why? Oh, yes. Why? Why? Okay. Why? So now look at this. We have question number one. So which could be the correct double H to this answer? What podría ser la um, double H word para la primera pregunta? Para la primera pregunta. Tenemos acá, I have to write a report about the production every Friday. Tengo que escribir un reporte sobre la producción cada viernes. Uh -huh. when, when do you write? When do you have to write? Oh, yes, right. When? When do you have to write? A report about the production. Uh -huh. About? production. Okay. Number two, I work in the blue building. Trabajo en el edificio azul. Double H. Which could be the double H? Where, what, how, who, what time, why? Creo que which, which building. Um, okay. Do you have more options? Um, where so, did you go? Uh-huh. Where? Where do you go? Where? Where do you work también? Ajá, uh -huh. yeah, that's right. Where, where, where do, you do you go work? Where do you work? About number three. Number three. Maria and I start working at 10. What time? Mm -hmm. What time? Y los demás me lo comí. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, oh, the, the well, well. Uh, <laughs> Maria and I start working at 10 p.m. <laughs> what time? Vamos a ver, los demás lo van a complementar. What time? Maria and I start working. Start working. Okay, perfect. Okay. How about four? Question four. So let's not forget the auxiliary. What time? Yeah. Do we, uh -huh. we design and others create a new product. Oh. We design. Mm. What, what do you do? Uh -huh. What do you do? What do you do? Um, okay, we design others, create the new product. Mm -hmm. Question five. They have a meeting because we have to talk about the inflows and outflows. The inflows, what's that? Inflows, los ingresos y los, y la? Ingresos. Los ingresos. Salida. La salida. Ya hay salida. Okay, so they have a meeting because we need to talk about the inflows and outflows. Question. Why do they have a meeting? Why do they have a meeting? Okay, why do they have a meeting? Perfect. Okay, so now we continue. Um, Uh, 
Okay, so here we have a short conversation between Kevin and Albert. Listen and repeat that. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just checked the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need someone, someone, okay? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? Sure, sure. What is it about? What does Mr. Reese have to do that day? I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? So we practice with this conversation, right? Let's see, just to volunteer, some volunteers. Daniel, Dora? Yeah. My yeah. Joe Kevin, what do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about, about it. Why? Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do me a favor? 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 Sure. What is it about? Um, what does Mr. Reese have to do that day? I'm not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Okay, thank you. Let's see, let's listen to some more uh, Carmen and Edgar. Yeah. What do you have to do on Thursday? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Why? Because I need some time to help me move some books. Can you do me a favor? Continue. Edgar, continue. Sure. Sure. What is it about? What do Mr. Reed have to, to do that day? I'm not so sure. What time do does, uh, does. does he finish to work on Thursday or when does he have free time? Okay, excellent, Carmen and Edgar, thank you. So let's look at the following words. Uh, what do you have to do on Thursday? Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. Thursday. Okay, Thursday. I just, this is, uh, the word is just. I just checked the production for the new product. New or new, okay, new or new. Okay. New or mm. new. Mm. Cualquiera de las dos. New or new. Okay. Uh, product. And write a report about it. Why? Because. 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 Like this. Because. 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 Uh -huh. Y a veces solo dicen la última Solo dicen esto. So, why are you late? Because oh. I was sleeping. <laughs> ok, ¿por qué llegaste tarde? Why are you so late? Because I was sleeping. En yeah, algunas ocasiones van a escuchar ustedes solamente eso. Because. Because I was sleeping. Ok, because I was sleeping. Um, ok, uh, someone, alguien, alguien, right? Someone. Someone. Um. Someone, someone, someone to help. Mm -hmm. Because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Boxes, okay. Boxes, boxes. I need someone to help me move some boxes. To help me move some boxes. Yes. 
Because some boxes. Mm. Okay. Favor. One. Favor. I need a favor. One. I need a favor. Can you do favor. me a favor? Favor. 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 Okay. And that's favor. all. Favor. Let's see. Uh, let's listen to uh, Maria and Johnny. Because I need someone to help me more. Someone okay. Um. What do you have to do on Thursday? Mm, I just checked the production uh, for the new product and why a report about it. Why? Uh, because I need someone to help me move some boxes. Can you do can you do me a favor? Sure. Continue, Mario. Sure. 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 Uh, what is about? What does Mr. Reese have to do that day? I am not so sure. What time does he finish to work on Thursday? Or when does he have free time? Okay, thank you. Sure. Sure, we were, uh, sure right? So I would have. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Sure. What is it about? Sure. Or sure, right? Okay. So, and let me see. So I think we have some more things. Okay, so read the conversation again to circle the correct word symbols. So I think that we did this activity, right? So I'm gonna skip this one. Okay, so create questions with the words provided. Why he have a meeting? Ideas, why he have a meeting? We why uh -huh, we why have a meaning auxiliary have okay so let's go back to this one look at this so which is the correct auxiliary for each of them what do or does Albert have to do on Thursday auxiliary verb do or does Do. 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 Albert, is that um, correct? What, what does? Ah, uh, yes, right. Albert, what, what does? does Albert? Okay. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Number two, why do or does Kevin need help? Auxiliary verb? Yes, tell me. Das. Das, again, because we have a pronoun which represents, um, okay, well, we have the name, Kevin, right, which represents he. Okay, who do or does you think is going to help Kevin? Do. 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 Okay. Do. Do you, right? Does Kevin, does he, does he, does Albert. Okay, what do or does Mr. Reese do on Thursday? Do. Does. What um, does Mr. Reese? Mr. Reese, he, right? Okay, so now based on the conversation, okay, what does Albert have to do on Thursday? Do you remember? So, ¿quién se acuerda? So what does Albert have to do on Thursday? He needs more boxes. Ah, okay. He needs to move? To move some boxes. Uh -huh. He needs someone to help him move. Ah, yeah. He needs to move some boxes. 
Okay, so why does Kevin need help? Mm, okay, interesting. Let's go back. Let's see. So what does Albert have to do on Thursday? What do you have to do on Thursday, Albert? I just check the production for the new product and write a report about it. Okay, so it, it means that the answer is, which is the answer? So now we need to modify that. Se lo modificamos. ¿Cómo nos quedaría? What does Albert have to do on Thursday? He has to do what? Uh -huh. He has to write a report about what? The production. Uh -huh. About the production. Okay. Um, okay. And why does Kevin need help? He needs to move some boxes, right? Why do you think is, okay, why do you think is, who do you think is going to help Kevin? Who? Any idea? Mr. Riz, uh -huh. probably Mr. Riz, but we don't know yet about him. Mr. Riz, okay. What does Mr. Riz have to do on Thursday? Information, Mr. Riz, let's see. So what does Mr. Riz have to do that day? I'm not so sure, no estoy muy segura. I'm not so sure. So what do you think? ¿Qué piensan ustedes? So what, what does Mr. Reese do on Thursday? Mm. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh, I probably, uh, well, we all are not sure. We're not sure. <laughs> so we don't know if he's going to work. <laughs> okay. So now, um, let me see. We have some more exercises. And look at this. Um, so you can continue that on your own. So I hope so. I we'll just uh, want you to show, I want to show you some, uh, well, the last uh, topic that we covered during this week. Estuvimos viendo las double H questions y estuvimos viendo las preposiciones. So just to finish, we have uh, this email. Okay, complete the email using prepositions of time and compare answers with a classmate. Let's see, from Fati 2018 at, okay, email.com to, okay, email destino de, okay, de quien para quien, No sé si hacían cartas cuando estaban estudiando. Ok, le decía de para. <ríe> ok, estoy viendo alguno. <ríe> to Mary. Una carta. Ajá. Underscore to at email.com. Ok, ¿cómo leemos ahí en los símbolos? Arroba. At. El punto, en este caso, recibe el nombre de dot. Y cuando lo utilizamos en oraciones, se recibe el nombre de period o full stop. Esto es eh, lo que le gramos al final de la oración. I work uh, in the morning. Okay. Full stop. Period. Punto o full stop. Y el dot es el que mencionamos cuando hablamos de los correos. Okay. Y tenemos ahí el underscore underscore sí okay. question mark no sé si utilizan algún question mark exclamation mark let me see a semicolon semicolon so there you have some Okay, and a subject, subject, new products presentation. Este es, digamos que es el, este es el asunto, subject. ¿Cuál es el asunto de su correo? The new products, uh, new products presentation. 
Hello, Fatima. Vamos a ver aquí que me ayuda ahí. Eh, Daniel, start with the first uh, part. Ok, until the question mark. Hasta donde está el question mark. El question mark. Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Okay. So, are you busy on Monday afternoon? Do you know about the new product that the company launches? Okay. Que lanza. Okay. Do you know that? O sea, ahí que continuamos. No. Uh, Johnny, there's... Uh there's a presentation about it and it sounds very interesting it's interesting uh, okay. interesting it start at uh -huh. at, at. Uh -huh. at. at. 6 30 right i work continue edgar i work Ay, ahora ya se ve. No, dice que yo no puedo ver nada, ahora escucho nomás ahorita. Ah, ok, bueno, bien, ahí se quedó. Bien, vamos a ver, Dora, Dora. I work until. I work until 5.45. Ok. But I can meet you. At six uh -huh. on the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. Okay. Carmen? Acá, what do you think? What do you think? Mm. What do you think? Sir, an order presentation but it will be uh -huh. preposition in in, in March okay no. yeah you're right on Sunday uh -huh. um and, uh -huh. and I can that day. Okay, so now let's read it all together. Hello, Fatima. Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Do you know about the new product that the company launches? There is a presentation. There is. There is a presentation about it. And it sounds very interesting. It starts at 6.30. I work until a quarter to six. But I can meet you at six. Okay, me puedo reunir contigo. Can meet you at six on the corner of First Avenue en la esquina de la Primera Avenida and Main Street. Okay. What do you think? ¿Qué, op qué opinas? There's another presentation, but it will be in March on Sunday. Hay otra presentación, pero será cuando? En marzo. En marzo. El domingo, right? And I can't that day. You know, puedo ese día. Okay, so you have to go with me, right? So let me know. Bye bye. Avísame. <laughs> okay, so that's the, the email, right? That they have been. Okay. Um, so now let's, uh, well, let's finish. Let's wrap up. So just give me a couple of seconds while I pass the attendance list. Okay, so I'm going to mention your name and say present, okay? Calvin Alexander Hernandez. Calvin Alexander Hernandez. Carmen Amada López. Present teacher. Thank you. Cristian Vladimir Corvera Barahona. Present teacher. Thank you. Daniel Enrique Sifontes Perdomo. Present teacher. 
Thank you, Daniel. Dora Trinidad Cornejo Cepeda. Present teacher. Thank you, Dora. Edgar Edenilson Reyes Portillo. Over here. Thank you, Edgar. Eduardo Romero Reyes. Present teacher. Thank you, Eduardo. Fátima Alexandra Martínez Pineda. Fernando Ramírez Monge. Present teacher. Thank you, Fernando. Gloria Evelyn Mengíbar de Castillón. Ingrid Vanessa Blanco Vázquez. Present teacher. Thank you, Ingrid. Johnny Antonio Silva Cepeda. Present. Thank you, Johnny. Jonathan David Martinez Escobar. Jose Carlos López Alas. No. Okay. Jose Efraín Ramírez Reyes. Jocelyn Marlene Mengibra Álvarez. Check. Marlene. Oh, okay. Juan Francisco Montoya Ruiz. Present teacher. Thank you, Francisco. Kevin Alonso Lobato Ibarra. Present teacher. Thank you, Kevin. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. Mario. Present teacher. Thank you, Mario. Noé Aníbal González López. Oscar Antonio Guevara Carranza. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar. Roberto Alejandro. Okay. William Vladimir Hernandez Zapata. Okay, perfect. Thank you, guys. So that's all for today. Eso es todo por este día, chicos. Nos veremos el día lunes. Eh, estamos en recta final, así que si tenemos actividades pendientes de la semana 3, recuerden que a esta fecha debemos de tener culminada la semana 3, es decir, hasta la tarea número. Ok, ahorita le digo. Ok, deberíamos de estar, estamos en la sección 3, ¿verdad? Unidad 3. Quiere decir que debemos de tener completada hasta la tarea número 15, tarea 15. En well, entonces también lo otro es que como terminamos la próxima semana, eh, tenemos cinco días todavía restantes. También recuerden que la asistencia es importante para que se puedan, eh, bueno, para que pueda ser eh, válido, ¿verdad? La promoción del curso y este, eh, la ejecución, ¿verdad? Y también va acompañado con la parte de, de las evaluaciones. Otro punto que nos hacían solicitud de mencionar es que se está haciendo la inscripción y pues quienes eh, puedan o estén interesados pueden empezar a hacer las gestiones, ¿verdad? Para la re reinscripción al segundo módulo, porque siempre se tiene que hacer un proceso. Entonces, esos son los anuncios por el momento, chicos. Cualquier consulta, yo voy a estar pendiente, escríbanme con cualquier actividad también que tengan uh, alguna duda, ¿verdad? Que hay alguna duda de las tareas. Ok. Gracias, chicos, por esta semana. Espero que pasen un excelente fin de semana. Nos vemos el día lunes, ¿ok? Thanks. Diviértanse. Buenas noches. Y descansen. Bye. 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 Adiós. Buenas noches. Bye, bye. Sí, Nos vemos el lunes. Okay. Bye. 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 <ríe> <ríe> ya, ya se está despedido, ya, ya me preguntan. <ríe> Esa despedida ya la vi diferente. <risa> Todavía seguimos el lunes. Bye. Bye bye. See you, Ingrid. Hola chicos, Calvin, Jonathan, Fátima, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta.
Ok, bien. Entonces nos despedimos.